Hey, Michael. Hey. I had my TSA 7 and I, I got, went on it with, uh, with my multi tool. Yeah. yeah. And the outcome was this one. So, what I'm. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> what I'm looking at here now, finally. Can you explain me? So what's, what's down here, for example, and the other parts um, I've opened up now? Okay. Um, so what we're looking at here is the, the keypad area um, of the TSC-7. Um, the keypad is, is basi basically constructed of a white silicon mat, um, which is then painted. The paint is then etched away to expose the white, and then there are LEDs mounted on the printer circuit board in strategic places ar around the perimeter that um, provide the backlight for, for the keys. Oh, so these these are the LEDs, and they're not actually under the keys. They are just strategically placed. No, they're placed. just like flooding the keypad. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Mm. Um, what's this? So I, I I didn't cut the the gorilla glass, and this is gorilla glass, I assume. Um, it was really hard to cut actually. So what's yeah. what's underneath here? What's going on here? Yeah. So you'd have a lot of trouble trying to cut that gorilla glass. Um, it's um, it's more likely to to shatter than than be able to cut it. So um, um. The, the Gorilla Glass is adhered to the, basically the, the display stack, so um, including the, the, the touch panel and the, and the LCD. Mm. And um, so there's a little bezel here in this area. So what's, what's behind it? So I've opened it up here. So what's, what's on the side of the display? Right, okay, so the, the, the bezel, um, as you can see from the front, the bezel has, has got a large overlap here. And this large overlap is, is for, there for two reasons. One, to get an adhesive, a decent width of adhesive for the cover glass to adhere to the front panel. And the second reason is really for the um, exposure of the antennas to the sky. Okay. So what's the, what are the board components here? What are these things here? Okay, so if we go right back down into this area here, we have the, the battery for the real-time clock. So if um, you turn on the, if you take out the batteries, there's still a battery for the clock, so the it clock. does not reset the, the time. Correct, yep. Okay. Yep. Um, and then we have the U-Blocks module receiver for the, um, the GPS antenna. Um, and then we have um, the, the Y-LAN and Y-WAN modules. Um, and back in this area here we have the, um, the processor. Okay, so, so that's the, the antenna for the GPS, GPS right? yeah. Okay. Um, so now with these things, they are the copper things here on top of the of the yeah. of the shielding of the CPU, mm -hmm. and and here's another copper thing down here. So what is yeah. this copper stuff doing? Okay, so the, the CPU obviously gets rather hot um, um, in, in the field. So the the way, way of getting rid of some of the heat is to take the heat away from the CPU and and take it into an area where it's not so hot. So we have what we're basically doing is using a, a, a copper heat pipe which takes the heat away from the top of the the, the processor down into this sort of what we call the, the neck area um, to um, a, an aluminium heat sink area. So we're basically transferring the heat away from that processor down into here. And here are the batteries. So this battery is actually just the housing with, with, with the battery cells yep. and the electronics. So what is this electronics doing? So I was not stupid enough actually to cut the battery. Okay. I've good, changed good, the good, battery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's a replacement. But what's, what's this electronics and the battery doing? Okay. So. Um, Basically, providing charging status and charging circuitry for the for the battery. Um, you'll see um, there's there's a series of LEDs along uh, the inside of the battery here, um, and that they just provide an indication of charge. Okay, cool. So I had fun on the weekend. Yeah. So yeah. thanks for explaining that. No thanks, Michael. Yeah.